Hello everyone, Flyover here and welcome to the new video and uh, actually today's video we can thank to Mr. Larry who actually contact me via email and ask me how I get those arrows up and arrows down for pulling and pushing the knobs and well I decided just to make a video so I of course I helped him and uh, I was thinking like why not to make a video and show to all of you actually how to do it because it must be definitely somebody that don't know how to do the thing so let's go and let me show you so what I'm talking about is when you have instrument and we are in Airbus actually A320 because uh, it's the best because it has push and pull knobs and everything so what I'm talking about is this arrow up arrow down arrow and these arrows and then these fingers to press the buttons uh, how you get that so it's easy actually you need to go to general options and you need to go to accessibility and set up your cockpit interaction system to legacy uh, usually is on lock but you put it on legacy so it definitely need to be legacy and then you click apply and save and then when you go back you will have that now uh, you will have different uh, cursor uh, shapes and I will explain to you everything what they mean so when you have hand with the finger like this that is just a knob actually a button that you can only press okay that is hand with the finger when you have this uh, three position rocker switches they will usually be up and down or left or right and then when we are here with these knobs that only can be rotated you actually just come when you get this arrow you can click and you can get left arrow and click and right arrow and click but the easiest way is just come to the mouse to get any of those arrow and use the scroll button that's the easiest way to dial up the things in msfs that's how i use it so scroll button yeah only scroll button when you have this type of arrow you just do scroll button also for example uh, this one is pull push and rotate knob or this one let's say when you have this arrow you can scroll you can also but it's sometimes it's difficult to get left and right if you click you know and then you can you you need to aim to get left and right arrow so it's easiest just to get any arrow and just rotate with your uh, mouse wheel and then for push and pull you go up above the button and you will get arrow up and that one will be push option okay this is pushing and then when you go down below the button it will be pull option see now it's pulling it out so that's it super easy super simple uh, next arrow that you can have is actually uh, this hand without finger just hand and what that mean actually you can drag and pull I cannot now drag and pull okay I can drag and pull flaps so that means you press your button and just drag and pull that is for your throttle for your flaps and that kind of stuff here is click right here is rotate here is also click and let's go up I want to show you something else which is also very important so let's just go to this rocker switch and let's come close uh, as you know there is switches that have two position rocker switches and there is switches that have three position so if you have a rocker switch that have uh, only two position you will get hand with the finger so you can just click and you can just click and switch if you have a rocker switch with three position like this one have off auto in the middle and on up you can click once click two and then you need to get arrow down click down and click down to make you easier 
you can also mouse scroll that yes you come with any arrow and just mouse scroll and in the direction of your mouse scroll the switch will go so i'm not clicking now i'm just mouse scrolling see you can mouse scroll them also the landing lights at least on phoenix airbus uh you can click separately left and right but you don't have to you can click both in the middle if you have phoenix but i will have separate video all about phoenix because i bought phoenix and it's amazing airplane and i'm going to do uh, a series of tutorial about phoenix everything in details so make sure to follow me and that will come very soon in the channel so yeah that's it actually i wanted to show you how to do it so one more time uh, general options accessibility and cockpit interaction system to legacy i have tooltips off because i don't need them you can have them you can have them not menu tooltips but instrument tooltips i mean you can have them but uh, and they can be instant or delayed and actually what they do is uh, they will just ruin your immersion because they are super big and i i don't like it you know uh, maybe uh if they show like for example the value that you uh dialing okay but they don't so they are super big super uh clumsy and i i don't like it so that's the reason why i turn off my tooltips so you can actually uh turn off your tooltips and menu tooltips is the tooltips app that tell you your barometer is not set and everything that one is definitely off so yeah uh, one day i'm gonna make actually a complete video about my uh, graphical settings and everything so you can expect that one to come soon maybe even before phoenix and then after that uh, we're gonna make a phoenix video and I, I can tell you only it is amazing aircraft it is really beautiful it worked just fine people telling me that i mean telling me i was uh listen on youtube that people have complaining like have a lot of uh, frame issues and everything i don't have and i don't have beefy computer i have uh 2060 graphical graphic card and 8700k processor nothing big and i don't have any problem i don't have any frame rate issues i will show you my settings i will show you everything uh when we do video about phoenix but for now thank you very much for watching i hope this was helpful and uh bye